there everyone welcome back to my channel it's Christy here doing the weekly reading for the sign of Aries Sun Moon and Rising this is for the week of December 12th through to the 19th we currently have the moon moving through Virgo but simultaneously we have Mercury in retrograde uh, during the transit of Sun and Sagittarius right now so a lot of interesting energies so I'm going to be doing a theme regarding what needs revising this week so as we know the mercury in retrograde helps us to reinvent re-examine uh, um, and even release anything we can put the prefix re on um, it's a time for us to re-examine things so we can come to terms with things, close the door on things, or to perfect things, especially while the moon is in Virgo this weekend. So there could be a sense of needing to perfect something and put the finishing touches on it. So what needs revising in your world this weekend? This week, rather. So this is a general reading for your sign. Whatever is most prominent in your life this week, I encourage you to take these messages and apply them to. And I do hope that you find them helpful in healing. So what does Aries need to consider revising this week? Aries, it looks like you're pretty pleased with everything overall. There is um, some work to be done around a healing or a mending. So in terms of what needs revising or revisiting this week in order to come to terms with or um, to even put to rest finally is an issue around a truth, okay? Um, is it a global truth? It doesn't really matter. It's your truth. Um, your truth needs to be told now does it need to be revealed to somebody else that's up to you but if this is a very private matter it might be a good week for you to be fully honest with yourself revisit something this week um, where you feel like you might have put something away because it tugged on your heart too much it wasn't the right time to look at it it needed some emotional energy and attention um, that you couldn't provide at the time and because this is very likely a personal truth for you something about yourself something you need to uh, discover for yourself or come to terms with for yourself nobody else needs to know about this um, only if you want to tell them perhaps if you've come to the point where, where you've been able to release something you can start telling other people but this is something that you need to take the mask off in your own life with regard to your own wants, needs, desires, even behaviors, belief systems, anything regarding a truth, something that you've um, denied yourself, even a part of yourself you might have denied. Um, but if this mask is taken off, it will be done under the auspices of two things. One of love, which is of the highest energy as opposed to fear. So anytime you're facing the truth this week or willing to go there to revisit this, to put it to rest, you're going to want to be led there through love, okay? Um, and affection and joy for yourself. And the other thing you want to recognize here is that you already have the answers. Anytime we see Owl, especially with his eyes perked open this wide, you're wise to this, okay? You already know what this is. You already know how to fix it. You already know you've been here before. This has been presented itself as a challenge to you before. But for some reason this week, you might be able to finesse what it is that needs to be switched up particularly while the moon is in virgo interesting with um, mercury in retrograde mercury actually rules virgo and gemini right and when we have mercury going appearing to be going backwards with a chance to revisit something in an earth sign in virgo 
What this means is that we're able to take definitive practical steps. This is how we're able to definitively practically address this. It isn't just, oh, here's an idea I have about solving this problem. This is a really good weekend or week ahead, for example, for you to say, I've addressed the issue. I know exactly what needs to be done. I'm going to start putting these things in practice uh, in a practical way. And I think you can come to terms with something here and finalize something once and for all. This is where we're looking at mending. This is where we're looking at healing hearts. Um, very probably your own. Okay. Unless this is something that's when you're upon listening to this, you know in your heart of hearts that this has to do with you and another in a specific individual, um, then that's what needs to be mended, right? That's what needs to be come to terms with here. That's where you're going to need to exhibit a practical, higher level of energy um, as opposed to looking at it from a lower vibration through fear or loss or regret. You're going to look at it from a, a thank you, a love, a teaching, right? Um, but something needs to be mended here. I'm guessing it's your heart is what I'm getting out of this. And you're wise to it. This is something that's been tugging at you, perhaps eating away at you. Perhaps even getting in the way of other relationships, frankly, or even a, a sense of self-respect and love that you that you could have and that I'm going to suggest that you ought to have for yourself. So maybe it's a big chance for you to let go of something after um, you identify it and then take practical steps this week, right? Um, and if there's any language around perfection or ought to be's or shoulds, that sort of thing. We're going to try to stay away from that. That creates an atmosphere of uh, never being good enough, right? And that's sort of a, a, a Virgon Virgonian influence is saying, you know, only God is perfect. Everything else um, will never be that perfect. But, you know, you are a child of God, right? And this is what's reminding you here. Your probable outcome is a higher power. You know that you can get through this and you know that you have what it takes. You know that it's a matter of doing at this point. As I've suggested, you've probably already identified this, even like the moment you heard this need, needed revising to um, probably before you even heard this reading that you... Yes, of course, there is a higher power involved here. You're supposed to get past this because um, anything that keeps us in low vibration keeps us trapped, right? We can't possibly be liberated. We can't possibly be free, again, even from our own expectations, um, our own masks, what we're supposed to do, what, we're, what we're sh should do, what we, um, and I'm not talking right or wrong here. I'm not talking, um, you know, you have a moral compass and you should follow your moral compass. Yes, this is a given, right? This is a given. This is, this is what humanity is uh, predicated upon. It's listening to our consciousness, our higher consciousness. What this is saying is, when you say that you should heal or mend a certain way, that's where you're going to try to break those barriers down. What worked for someone else perhaps in this arena doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. This is something you need to figure out for yourself. But in saying that, you need to identify it and address it and then create the steps, create practical steps in which to begin that healing through love, through the tearing away of that mask, uh, th through uh, the um, lens of liberation and wisdom with a sense of being protected here that you can do it, that's possible and that it's yours, it's your right to be free from constraints um, and pain. Here with Treasure Island, this is where we're looking at this occurring from within. Yes, you can drink it away. Yes, you can distract yourself till the end of time. Yes, you can justify 
um, beating yourself up. You can justify not bothering with mending. You can justify not being the first person to take it, take the leap toward your own self-interest here. Um, but it's going to create a little bit of a hamster wheel, isn't it? So in order to get away from that, if you want to be liberated, Aries, you can do it. In fact, perhaps all this time you were seeking that liberation through someone else or by someone else. And this is a time to get practical about that. As much as even if you wanted someone else to solve it, it's not going to happen that way. You can't mend that way. You have to heal your own heart. Um, and um, you have to give it to yourself. And you have to know that you're worth that right now. And that it is time, perhaps, to put that to rest. Once you address it, and you get through that difficult revision and those practical steps to get through that, you will feel that sense of freedom. Here we have the rabbit. This is fear. Really, really, really strong. And I've mentioned it from the start. There's this real strong sense of, um, you know, the shoulds. You're supposed to do it a certain way. People expect things from you. You expect things from you. Um, Is it fair though, right? Is it fair? Is it appropriate? These are, you're really straddling two vibrations here and you have the opportunity, Aries, to live one or, one or, one or the other here, right? You have fear or you have love. What are you going to let guide you this week in particular, but certainly in process of any revisions around mending and healing this week? I'm going to suggest that love is the greatest um, healer and it'll get you there faster and it'll liberate you permanently. Here with children, we're looking at two themes. One, your own children. If you have children of your own, you're going to be taught a lesson this week through your children. You won't even have to ask. Don't go looking for this. This will appear to you this week. On the other hand, if you don't have children or aren't privy to the company of children this week, please go within and remember your childhood. Remember a strength that you taught yourself as a child. Okay? Something you got through that was difficult. Um, and you're going to gain wisdom from this. And this is going to be your teacher this week. A child. It could very well be you, so please look into your own heart at your own childhood if, if you're not gaining this through other children this week. But if you are around other children, this will really be helpful. So this was for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I really hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. I wish you all the best. Please comment below. I love hearing from you. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and like my videos. That really helps me out as well. Until we meet next week, my dear Aries, take excellent care of yourselves. Bye for now.